Hi, I'm Marilyn Gorin, and I'm here to talk to you about the ancient art and metaphysical science of numerology. Numerology is one of the keys the universe has somehow left us to better understand who we are and why are we here. So, moving right along, since we're on such an amazing number day, I am just delighted to have with me today a lady that I've, I met not long ago. And interestingly enough, the universe, as the universe provides, I was just recently thinking, I wish I knew a good numerologist. So, next thing I know, in pops Marilyn Gowan. Well, welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me here, Peggy. Did I ever tell you that I was looking for a numerologist when you sh- showed up? When you were doing my hand analysis, I think you vaguely mentioned it. Oh, okay. I said, yeah, well, I just want you to know that I, I love it when the universe provides. Yeah. When we ask and the universe provides. Here I am. <laughs> yes, exactly. And you have a, you have quite a bit of experience in numerology, right? Yes, over 30 years. And what drew you to that initially? I have a, a sister that uh, was very interested in numerology that was talking to me a lot about it, and I was totally unreceptive. I was in corporate America, just didn't seem like anything relevant. And then I had a major, some major emotional upheavals in my life, and I gravitated towards it, and I just saw truth in everything I read. Mm-hmm. And that truth has never ended for me. There you go. Mm-hmm. It's interesting, and I think most people, and that's that, those are the people I call the consciously curious, yeah. where they have some sort of upheaval yeah. in their life, or something happens in their life, and they start looking for different answers than yeah. what they already have in their tool bag. And yeah. so that's really what happened with you in numerology, right? Yes, it is. It was just and it kind of stuck, apparently. Stuck. I saw truth over and over again. It was, it's, it's, it was no doubt about it in my mind. Awesome. So, yeah. so now you are a professional numerologist. Yes. And so, I mean, I, I know a little bit about numerology, but for those people out there who do not, give us a little bit of background about what it is. Well, numerology is an ancient metaphysical art and science. It goes back over 10,000 years. It was used. It's one of the mystical tools they use in the Kabbalah studies. Right. And, and the Kabbalah's really had a resurgence. Yes, yes, lately. it has. And a lot of our Hollywood celebrities and exactly. the groups out in L.A. Got some um, good PR. Yeah, and uh, Parathoris, uh, a Greek mathematician who developed a theorem for the right triangle, he popularized it like about 2,600 years ago You know, for that time era. And it, so it's been around a very long time. Um, it became popular again in the United States in the 1940s and 50s. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and uh, the, uh, yeah, there's, a lot, there's a nice body of literature out on it now. The books I studied were by Matthew Oliver Goodwin, who was an MIT mathematician. Mm. He had, so no uh, lightweight when it came to numbers, right? Yeah, he, um, he just had a business he was running, apparently. And an administrative person in his office had all this good info about staff he was hiring. And after about a year of her always being on target, he asked her what she used, what was her tool, and she told him about numerology, and he became passionate about it and used all of his mathematical and scientific analysis skills to develop it, and and he devoted the rest of his life to numerology, wrote two guides on it. And that's not so dissimilar from your experience because you actually have been in numbers even when you were in the corporate world. You were in accounting and numbers and always drawn to those numbers. So it makes sense that you would have just maybe a little paradigm shift about how to use numbers. Well, I often say that I I work for a major oil and gas company and I was an analyst there. You're right. It was in planning, budgeting, things like that. But I, I did very well there. It was a very successful career, but I've often said it was was my numerology that pre-wired me for it, not vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get that. I get that. I get that. It just, makes total sense it to does. me. It does. It's like it was a story to me, finding the numbers and doing the analysis. Right. Yeah. Well, it's... Okay, I'm going to ca- compare numerology to astrology. Yeah. And I can compare it to hand analysis, too. Yeah. But I think there's maybe more of a correlation with astrology in some ways because there's so many layers that you know you can get mm. in as deep you can yeah. and I'm using that because some, I think most people you know have seen their uh, sun sign charts in the newspapers yes. or whatever so there's a there's a pretty good awareness of, about astrology yes so so that's the sun sign information which is just one small piece yeah. of what the whole chart looks like and that's mm. very true with numerology as well right uh, very correct it's very complex when you really start go down to the analysis I think pop culture gives us our, our basic sun sign or, or, or 
people who are involved in numerology might know their life path, the one major number, but it's really the analysis, again, the analysis of the interrelation of the energies that really define who a person is. And that, that's what intrigues me. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Because you can go as deep as you want. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And mm-hmm. so so let's just say I'm coming to you mm-hmm. um, to get my numbers analyzed. Is that how, how do you say that? How, what are you doing to me? Well, <laughs> what, what do you call that? I'll give you a numerology, uh, numerology uh, analysis. Okay. Or consultation. Analysis. Okay, mm-hmm. consultation. So where do you start? We start with the two basic things in numerology are your name on your birth certificate, your name when you came into this reality or this, and, um, and your birth date. Okay. Your name on your birth certificate is basically the vibrational energy you bring into this reality. And each letter within your birth name has a numerical vibration attached to it. So it's a matter of calculating and coming up with the final number. But every, every single letter in your name is relevant. Oh, and I the know, total yeah. number that breaks down to, it's, it's a matter of adding, reducing, adding, reducing. That uh, basically I call it your basic ammunition you bring into this reality. Your proclivities, your talents, who you are. Your talents and your yeah. challenges, yeah. which is very similar to hand and Yeah, the, um, the birth date is the most important. That's why you're here. That's that 40, 40 to fifty percent of your energies. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and so and that, and that that you can tweak your vibrations with your name, as especially with women if you change names when through marriage, things like that, right. or and, men and that, using nicknames. That does change your energies, right? Yeah, it, uh, you never lose what you come into this reality with, okay. but it's like overlays, so it'll change the dynamics. Mm-hmm. Because I've actually talked to people who have changed their names because yeah. they want to align with yeah. better numerology in their yeah. minds. Yeah. So is that valid? I mean, yes, can that, definitely. Okay. Yeah, again, it won't change who you are, but it will put different layers on your energies and that okay. di- dynamics will de- manifest differently. Okay. I yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And uh, I, I definitely would recommend to anyone like naming children or going through name changes to check the numerology mm-hmm. of a guy to help them and uh, to find out what their new vibrational energies will be. Right. Well, I'm just curious. This popped into my mind. My father's birth certificate said, um, Yvonne N. for Nun Skipper. So he didn't have a middle name, but they put an N in there for Nun. So what does that do to his vibration? What would you do with that? Just ignore it? Is it actually the word N-O-N-E or just the initial N? I, I can't remember. N? I can't remember. I, I would take the N if it was just um, I, a lot of people ask things like the questions like that. Right. I like what what if I'm not born in this country or or right. things like that. The the numerology I study is based on the Roman alphabet. So if you're in an English speaking people uh, country using that alphabet, it's all very right. reliable. Okay. So your father's I, name, I would use the N to answer your question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Unless it's spilled out a nun, and then yeah. you would not. Oh, a better thing is, what did he use? Did he use it? No. Okay, then I wouldn't use it because okay. vibrationally okay. he wasn't bringing it in. Okay. Yeah. But he always told that story. Yeah, well, that's My a good story. My middle name is N for none. <laughs> it's a great so, story. <laughs> yeah. So, and plus his name, Yvon, U-V-O-N. I've never yeah. seen that name yeah. anymore, so it's I don't know. Is it a family name? I think, mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. It was, uh, I had a grandmother with just an amazing imagination, I guess. Yeah. I don't she read a lot of literature. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> so let's go back to numerology yeah. because I really do think that yeah. – um, that this is great, great information. Oh, and you did my numbers for me, and I know that my, um, and forgive me if I get the terminology right, but my birthday comes to a nine. Correct. So, what does that tell me about me? Just so we can let the audience know what kind of information they'll get from their birth number. Well, again, your birth date is uh, 40% of your core energies, okay. uh, which is based on your name and your uh, date of birth. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of modifiers that change everything, too. It tells, it tells you what your life purpose is, for one thing. Ah, okay. Uh, so and basically, uh, again, it's all vibrational. So what you bring into this reality to achieve, you vibrationally pull things in. And, and love, that's a lovely number, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's, it's the highest of the ordinal numbers, and it's the universal humanistic number, philanthropic number. Okay. Um, the uh, lesson of the nine is to be the selfless giver. Where you want, and that's basically how you're helping people, what you're doing in your work, right. and you're reaching a very large audience in what you do, just being on the radio and networking with a lot of different people. But it's also a very high uh, vibration, and it's also high thinking, high minded. It would be it's uh, the type of vibration that wants to help the world. I get that. Yeah. 
<laughs> get that. Although I'm getting to the point so that I don't want to help those who want to help themselves, you know? Well, just what so. you very do, you're, you're on your life path doing that. <laughs> yeah. To give selflessly at a universal humanistic level. Okay, so that would be 40% of what I'd be looking of at. Of your core Which energies. is interesting because yeah. in hand analysis, yeah. my life purpose is spiritual teacher. So oh. that's very... Yeah. Very similar they information. They complement one another. And I have that all the time. I mean, mm-hmm. I, don't you have people that come to you and say, well, gosh, that's the same information in my astrology chart? Yeah, I correlate like, well, my sun sign and my, my life path. It's, well, yeah, you know, it's your yeah. stuff. It's supposed yeah. to be the same. <laughs> Hello? I'm not supposed to change with the modality. You know, uh, you know? Uh, there are no mistakes. You know, right. the things were, were, uh, you know, the science... Um, really is using it as an analogy how the, the universe is one huge computer program. And if you look at us that way, that, you know, of course we're spiritual entities, but if we're somehow pre-programmed to learn and grow, we're going to be pre-programmed some way so that our our lessons can be, our human experience can be fully appreciated. 